Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. I want to display now the IP address of my studio light on this display. Right? So last time we managed to, to use this display. What's this? Two times timeout. Back. Last time we, we managed to use this display. Now we want to, to display the information we want to have. Well, I hope I, I can show you. I hope I can show you. So I'm starting with including, including the, the, the libraries I need. I will simply do it exactly the same. Uh, include, of course. In the same way, like it is used in this example. GFX, all right, this we need, then, uh, then we need this, uh, this one, all right, that's the things we, we use. Then we, there was a define of some stuff, I will just copy it. This, this is, where is this? This is what we've used last time, and I will use here those things. Screen width. Good. Then I will use other things. This here. This I'll remove. It's looking good. This should already work. Right? So the display should already work. However, in initialization, if we are looking in this, I've read this this quite uh, sometimes here. There is a loop forever. I don't want to loop this forever. I have to do it different. I will have a new status. I call it display. This should be bit number seven, and I will. In the, it was connected in the, in the setup. Where is the setup? Here is the setup. Here we try now to connect to, to our display exactly the same way. Uh, but we will not loop forever. We will say, uh, bit clear, status bit, status byte, start display. So we will rememberize. Okay, we have not connected proper to the display, and here we will make bit set exactly this. So we are connected to the display. Good. And then we will here the next thing which is happening display display. I will call display clear display first. And then display display. Display display means this clear display will clear the memory inside and this will then bring a blank screen hopefully. Okay, that's that. So now we have allocated the display and we're displaying something. And whenever we are connecting to, to Wi-Fi, okay, this is already correct. So uh, here we are connected. We started the, here. We say if bit read status byte status display, then we are also putting something out on the display. And also, here found out there is somewhere, somewhere is display a text. And it's, uh -huh. I'm using this, zack, clear display, exactly that, from, from, and then we will say, display dot, dot print, print line, and IP address, and then we make display print line and this Wi-Fi 
dot local IP. That's it. Now we should see every time we are connecting to to uh, Wi-Fi, we should see the IP address at this display. Hopefully, I think that's it. I think that's it. So upload. Also have it. Big display for you because I think this will work. Try to connect. We're connected and we see nothing. Why we see nothing? Ah, of course, display, display. Just because writing it, just because writing it to somewhere, I have to call display dot display we need to display it as well yeah? so upload once again alright Connecting. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Bring it a little bit closer. Luckily, in real, this is not flashing like this, but you can read it. Okay. 11. So actually, we should be able to connect now with with a browser and use our web server now we know the address like last time okay like last time and if we get a new address we also print it out on the display display so the display is working display is working good good <sighs> i have some plans with this now and I wonder, I will finalize this before I build it in my frame, I will finalize this. Because what I always wanted, what I always wanted is, I always have to enter the, the Wi-Fi SSID and the Wi-Fi password with connection to the, to the computer. There is, a, there is a web server on this. So what if we are trying to connect? We cannot connect because we don't know the Wi-Fi access data. Then this thing could also be a station. Not only a client, a Wi-Fi client, but also be an access point, Wi-Fi access point. So if we are not connecting to this access point, uh, if we are not connecting to our existing Wi-Fi network, we will produce an access point, make a web server where you can configure your Wi-Fi data. We will store this Wi-Fi data and then if we can connect to a Wi-Fi, we will enter there. You know what I mean? So that we can configure our thing with our web interface. We will see. We will see if this is working or not. Yeah? So first step is that if we are not able to connect to a Wi-Fi network, that we put this in station mode. Not in station mode, but in access point mode. And then run the web server and, and provide a web interface. Oh, this is, will be in next video. So. Next video, check if we can connect to Wi-Fi network. If not, make it our own Wi-Fi network. All right. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.